What is up, everybody? We have another breaking news. Oh, my goodness. KJ's lawyer just dropped another bomb. Well, more like a dud. But we'll go over it after this intro. <laughs> Stress how horrible this is. Talking about hairy situations. Do you know that we've been sponsored by Manscaped? And they just sent me the new Manscaped Trimmer 3.0 that is waterproof. And has an actual cool ass little LED so you don't miss any spots when you're trimming down the boys, you know what I mean? You get nice and clean. So girls, if your man's got that bush and you're tired of just having it just, you know what I mean, get himself a little Manscaped. Not only do you have the trimmer that's also waterproof with a 7,000 RPM motor that'll cut through the thickest of uh, hairs, you also have the nose trimmer. So if your man's got a forest just coming out of his nose, you wanna use this bad boy because this bad boy will slice and dice any of the nose hairs and ear hairs that he may have. We also have a preserver. So this preserver is an actual deodorant for your man junk. So if you tend to work a lot outside become sweaty get sweaty get nasty this is for you this will work all day and it smells manly and it smells great and on top of that if this for some reason just stopped working just spritz yourself with some reviver yes you heard it right this is with aloe as well as witch hazel and it just like spruces up this to make it strong again. This is really good. I gotta say, I've been utilizing this product and ever since I have been utilizing it, my wife has been a lot happier with me as a individual, as a man and her as her husband. Not only do you get all of this cool stuff, they also send you some cool underwear, which I don't have because I have them on because they're so slick and smooth. I love the way they feel. And you could put all of this stuff inside of a travel tote. So if you guys wanna make your wives happy and if you wanna give a nice and cool ass gift, get it cool. We'll get the area down there pretty cool. And if you want a gift that keeps on giving, go down below, click on the link. You get 20% off by using the promo code COMICNUT and you'll get free shipping, manscaped.com. So as I was saying, guys, I was going over the actual motion and I have to say that the motion seemed to me as if it was just a script for a YouTube channel, for a T channel. Because the first nine pages, eight pages of that particular motion that was put in by KJ's lawyer, Michael, was complete and utter just bullshit. 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 It didn't need to be there. The chunk of meat, which was in the last, what, four or five pages, it's all you needed. We could have saved ourselves some time, ink and a couple trees by not actually printing that much garbage. I know they were trying to set precedence in why and, and what was going on in the case. And by talking about Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, and all those other debacles uh, that have happened in Dramageddon, which was completely irrelevant. The only foot that KJ's lawyer may have to stand on is personal jurisdiction, which again, I don't really know the gist of it, the whole meat of it, but it seems to me that personal jurisdiction means that if the individual is living in a state that uh, they can file there, and I, I really don't know, don't quote me on that, but it seems to me that you could actually just debunk that, or not necessarily debunk that, but put that in your filing. You live in the state you live in, that you say living in by just showing them hey here's my dmv card from so and so showing taxes that were paid in that state from a year ago i think it's been a year, almost a year since she's lived in washington and as well as so i do think that's probably where they're trying to go at but it can be easily fought i my opinion again i don't know i am not a lawyer so it's an assumption and an opinion that i'm giving only did i find anything that was a wow factor that made me actually change my mind as a layman i do kind of understand law i don't have the confidence to go in naturally in the court of law, but I do read it and I can't understand what's going on. I'm not a complete idiot. Nothing that made my body tremble in, oh my goodness, this is really good stuff. It really was, and it was mediocre. I was actually watching Nate's live, and Nate was just going on and on and on, doing, you know, the KJ stand, which I understand, that's, her, that's his friend, and he wants the best for her, which is something that I would want for my friend as well. But I am actually glad that Uncivilized Law was there, because he kept checking him and stopping him and saying, hey, wait a minute, that's not exactly correct. Correct. This is actually what's going on. This is the way you actually need to 
see it. So he was putting him in check and, and it made the video just a little bit more dreary, a little bit more slow because it didn't have that drama effect. You know, Wall doesn't have drama. It's pretty fucking boring. It the end of the day. So pretty much that whole motion was a sum up of drama getting. That's what I took from it. That's what I saw. It pretty much broke down everything that happened during that time of YouTube, which we all pretty much know what happened if you were around that time. If not, this would be a great way to catch up with that whole situation. Rather than watching hours and hours and hours of videos, just grab the motion, throw the rest of it out, keep the first nine pages, first eight pages, go through it, read it, and you're caught up. A couple things that I did find funny was that they used Swainy's complaint for for their facts, which is completely ludicrous to me that they didn't go and look at Tati and hers uh, 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 videos. And what they did was they used someone else's complaint as actual facts for their motion, which to me was utterly idiotic and asinine, my opinion. KJ's attorney is supposedly a professional when it comes to defamation, but I did see a lack of procedure, federal procedure within that motion. Somebody would want to actually present federal procedure in their motion, which there was none, it was zero. Um, again, this is something that I really think that just KJ put together, threw it at him, and then the lawyer just added some legal, uh, some of the statutes, and that was pretty much it. Moved on, good day, great day, let's go. So the next step that we're gonna see is probably, the next step that we are are going to be seeing is the motion to preserve evidence, which we all know was thrown out the window by KJ. She took all that evidence, evidence and deleted it, just not giving a shit. So pretty much she told the lawyer, she told the judge, she told everybody, the whole court system to go fuck yourself. Fuck you! Oh, fuck you! 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 and she's gonna do what she wants, when she wants, and how she wants to do it. So delete, 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 which was absolutely crazy. The technical term for that would be spoliation of evidence, which she did not adhere to it at all. Basically what she did was spoil. Capers as well. <laughs> the evidence versus spoliation, which to me is absolutely and utterly crazy. That shows the judge that you have something to hide. I know I'm not a judge, but if my son came to me, I know if my son came to me and I saw with my own eyes some very precarious videos on his computer, and then I went back to show him and they were deleted because he knew that I knew that they were there and the content of those videos, I would be pretty fucking pissed, which I think this judge is going to be pretty fucking pissed as well. Not only is he going to be pissed about that, but he's also going to be agitated about having to run down through eight or nine pages of tea. Be matter of factual. Get to the fucking point. It doesn't make any sense to do that to me. But again, I'm not a fucking lawyer, so eh, what the hell do I know, right? I think I know a little bit, but again, what do I know, right? Three points that I actually saw in the motion. Again, I could be wrong, but the first one being personal jurisdiction, which is to me something that can be quickly proven. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how you would go about doing that. I just think, you know, DMV and taxes and stuff like that. But again, what the hell do I know? The second one being, hey, I'm a small YouTuber and why are you picking on me? Meanwhile, she goes out and drops another video on Twitter. Yes, she did. That was in the motion. Yeah, crazy, right? So you take that particular video, you promote it again, and what you're saying is, fuck you, I'm gonna keep doing this no matter what. There's no scruples, there's no, I don't understand what the hell this person is thinking to be able to just justify all of these actions. And the third one would just be the sum up, like I said, four different times in the video of Dramageddon. So if you really wanna get a quick rundown, like I said before in the video, you just wanna read the first eight pages of the motion because the rest of the motion is just garbage. One of the things that I really thought the way she was just saying, oh my God, there's gonna be bombs dropped, this is gonna be all my side, my side, and oh, this is gonna be the best thing you've ever seen since sliced bread. It really wasn't, it was a dud. This was not a bomb that was dropped on anybody. It was one of those little black firecrackers on the 4th of July that you turn on and you throw and it doesn't do any noise. It goes <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the hell? That's exactly what that was. Go figure. So this was my quick rundown of this bullshit motion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor before you go anywhere, before you do anything, go down to the bottom, hit subscribe, smash that like. Then after you do that, drop a comment and say, hey, look, this is what I thought about the motion. Let's talk about it, have a dialogue about the whole situation. And I wanna hear your opinions on this particular motion. The other motion coming out is 
over spoliation of evidence. So we're going to keep our eyes out on that. I think that one's coming out the 18th or 19th. Hopefully that is a lot more mind blowing versus this one, which was mind boggling with all of the bullshit that was in there that didn't need to be in there. I really, really do think KJ wrote this bitch and sent it to her lawyer. Her lawyer just added in the necessary uh, quotations of law and just sent it out because that's what it looked like. I don't really know what they're trying to get at with this. They might have some really cool trick up their sleeve, but I don't know. I went back in and started rambling. Do me a huge favor. Like I said, go down to the bottom, hit subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment and make sure you share the video. So that way we can get into the algorithm and we can do well, just like the other videos did. Those videos did really well because of you, the sub, the follower, the watcher, and more importantly, all of those individuals are now part of what we call here the Silver Fox family. Thank you. And I also want to go over real quick the people who have supported the channel and are supporting the channel currently. Crazy Red MVP, Butterfly Kisses supporter, Lessa supporter, Craft Happy Tammy supporter, Mariana Trench supporter, Sammy Joe supporter, Claire S. Bear supporter, Dark Whisper MVP, Mama Wolf supporter, Dottie Morgan supporter and to our badass patreon supporters crazy red supporter lori carter mvp sherry martin supporter and dark whisper silver fox fam hopefully together we'll make this channel grow so big it'll be a force to reckon with on youtube with that guys being said i want to say peace